Hey YouTube! Recently I uploaded a video reviewing the Kitabashi 9606 HB pencil. A really awesome pencil. And reading the comments, one subscriber had mentioned about the Mitsubishi 9850 and was wondering which one he would like better. Well, I'm wondering the same thing. So in this video, I'm going to compare these two pencils and see if I can come to some kind of a decision as to which one I like better. Pencil Wars. All right, now as you can see that these pencils are, well, pretty well used. Uh, I only have one of these uh, Kitabashi 9606s. Usually I only get one of each pencil when it comes to reviewing them. And this one right here I dug up out of my collection box and that's the Mitsubishi 9850. And it looks like I've used it uh, quite a bit by the looks of it. And you can see that it's got chew marks on it. I'll have to apologize for that, but it's not actually chew marks. This was caused by one of my pencil sharpeners, uh, probably the Angel uh, or the Carl, that has the metal claws. Anyway, these days I use the one with the rubber claw, but hey, too late for this Mitsubishi uh, 9850. But as you can see, uh, it has this brownish kind of paint job here, this lacquer finish, kind of a gloss, I would say. It looks like a gloss. It reflects light. And uh, it has this uh, silverish, kind of plain Jane ferrule like a lot of pencils have. And it has a marshmallow white eraser on it. And then you can see the wood here. Well, certainly does look like a cedar to me. Looks really good. And I've already pre-sharpened it. Now, the Kitabashi 9606 HB, which I recently had uh, did a review on, you can you can certainly go back and, and check the playlist for that. Uh, it too has kind of a brownish paint job. Uh, they're not exactly the same. The Kitabashi kind of has this, oh, I don't know, maybe a little... Um, a little bit of red mixed into the brown. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, you can see that uh, the Mitsubishi has the silver lettering, whereas the Kitabashi has the gold on one side and has silver on the other. Mitsubishi here says smooth writing pencil for office use HB. They both have, of course, the marshmallow white and uh, eraser, and they have the silver ferrule. So, you know, they, they're almost like kissing cousins, but, so we'll just kind of keep them apart so they'll, you know, behave themselves. <gasps> and what I'm going to do now, since they're both sharpened, and basically, cosmetically, I don't, I don't favor one over the other. The ferrule eraser is basically the same. You have the old basic silverish ferrule and the white marshmallow eraser. Nothing to get really excited about. The paint jobs are, you know, on their their own ways, some kind of brownish whatever. And then, you know, we already know that the Kitabashi has the cedar wood as well. So visually, uh, would I give one over the other? Well, all I can say is the Kitabashi at least has gold on one side. So <laughs> there's that. Anyway, let me now bring up a piece of paper and we'll try some writing and see how that goes. All right, so I'll have my pad here, and I'm going to do uh, some cursive writing or scribbling or doodling or whatever. Maybe I'll just write the names of the pencils here and try to see if I have a preference of one to the other. And, of course, you know that this is subjective because everybody has their own likes and dislikes and just because I might like one pencil better than the other doesn't necessarily mean that you will feel the same way as I do. But at least it gives you something to go with, right? Okay, so with the Kitabashi, which I already know I love, 
I'm going to go ahead and just write here Kitabashi 9606 HB. Now, right off the bat, super smooth, very dark. Um, you have to go back to that video. Remember, I think I, I had it uh, graded somewhere around kind of like a B. It acts like a B grade shade or tone, even though it is listed as an HB. Uh, it is a very soft graphite, and I absolutely would love to have more of these pencils because it's, it's just really, really nice and a joy to write with. Now, with that said, I don't remember what the Mitsubishi felt like. It's been sitting in my box for many months now. I haven't used it since. So, I'm going to get reminded at this very moment. So, this is the Mitsubishi 9850 HB. It is also a very good tonal quality here. It also is soft graphite. So it has that. Now, do I favor one over the other? Yeah, I actually do, even though they're both really, really good pencils. I mean, this Mitsubishi is a really, really good pencil. Oops. It doesn't auto correct, unfortunately, like uh, my iPad does. This Kitabishi, Kittle, Kittle, Bashi, I should, Kittle Bashi, ay, ay, ay. Anyway, this one is really, really, hey, really good pencil. Hey, I had to give it one more because um, if I have to choose between these two pencils, honestly, for me, no, me, me, that's me, not you, me. Uh, yeah, I, I actually like the Kitabashi. Uh, I think it edges out the Mitsubishi 9850. Uh, the reason why, it just, it's a tactile feeling. It's, it's how it feels to me going on the paper and... I just have a sense of it just being a little bit smoother. You know? And it may even be a little darker. I, you know what? Okay, I think it's, it, it's so close. It's razor edge. Ah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Let me get my drawing paper. And we'll try to go through the light test, shine some light through it, and let's see if one is different than the other tone-wise, even though right now um, my spider senses is giving it to the Kitabashi. First up, I'm going to do the Mitsubishi 9850. And again, hold it from the back end and start doing my doodle. Okay, so this is 90 pound drawing paper that I bought in bulk at Amazon, like 500 sheets of it at one time. And I use it for general purpose reviews of these uh, pencils. I don't use it for any of my artwork. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so there is, and I'm going to try to saturate this the best I can. Okay, not put any pressure on it except for what's necessary just so that graphite will at least appear on the paper rather than writing on air and nothing happening. Got to put something on there. Okay, so that it doesn't appear to be getting any darker. I think I filled it in pretty good, right? Okay, that's the Mitsubishi. Let me, let me put an M for Mitsubishi right there, okay? And I'm going to go up a little bit here just so that you can see that better. All right. Now I'm going to put right next to it the Kitabashi 9606. Okay, and I think that's about as saturated as it's going to get as well. So 
My naked eyeballs can't tell the difference between the two. They look pretty much the same to me. Oh, wait a minute. One difference. I didn't put the K there. Kitabashi. Okay. So, we are now left to put this under the light. And so I'm going to use, of course, a light tablet that I had reviewed in the video. This little baby right here. I'm going to put this thing right there. I'm going to plug the power in. Let's get this thing straight here. Plug the power in here. Okay. Let's get some light on the subject. And I have to turn off the studio light so we can see which is which. There we go. All right. On the left, Mitsubishi. On the right, Kitabashi. And we about as good as we're going to get is about right there before it goes out of focus. I can't tell the difference. So as far as tonal quality, I'm going to have to say they pretty much are the same. Um, hey, if you see something different that I don't see, just say so in the comments below. Uh, because to me, I'm just not seeing a difference. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, the Mitsubishi 9850 and the Kitabashi 9606. Uh, I'm telling you, they're very, very, very close. But personally, if I have to choose one, it's this Kitabashi 9606. Thank you. Complete me. I happen to feel that it, it just edges out a little bit. It's just a sensing, you know, personal preference sensing thing. I want to get a box of these and I plan on it one day getting a box of these, which without hesitation, but I've never sat back and said, you know, I got to get me a box of these uh, 9850s. Um, since I've never said that, and I did say that I would love to have a box of these, it just kind of well, you know which way I lean. Anyway, I hope you like this quick comparison video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the little bell if you want to be notified of my videos. And I'll see you, and yes, I'm pointing at you guys this time and not me, in the next video. Bye.